Oh, we'll call this meeting of the Irving Cultural Council to order. Um, and I would like to say that this meeting is being recorded. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, Hi, Marcia. Jason, welcome. This is your first meeting with us. So it good is. to finally see you. Yeah, nice to see all of you that I can see you as well. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope we can get back to normal soon. We'll know more details on Monday of how things are, will be rolling out for opening up. And so tonight we just have one pressing matter uh, to deal with. And then hopefully we could schedule another meeting, hopefully um, physical meeting uh, in June to deal with the other issues that we need to, there's Jean, the other issues that we need to talk about which are restructuring um, and also community input survey. I'm going to send you a draft of the community input survey that we used last year so that you can look at it and think about any changes. And then we'll, we will discuss it at our next meeting. If we're not able to meet physically in a month, we'll probably have to do another one of these, okay? So uh, tonight, the one and only thing on our agenda is that we received a request from one of our grantees, um, which was, let me just pull it up, which was Mr., um, uh, I want to say Marshak, that's not right, um, the Pastel Painting Workshop, which was scheduled to take place um, in conjunction with the library in December. And he has requested, um, he requested either full payment in advance because he has lost all of his income or a partial payment. And the Cultural Council, the state, the Massachusetts Cultural Council has, has um, talked about this quite a bit because the artists, the artists are all um, without income at this point and they're trying to be as flexible and generous as possible. We had voted as a committee last year not to uh, pay in full in advance and we're not set up for that. We're not one of the pioneer, uh, do, you, do you guys remember that conversation? Yes. Uh, yeah, it was a pioneering effort and some cities are doing it, cities and towns, we're not. We are, however, allowed to um, give him a payment, a progress payment, in recognition of the work that he's done toward the grant already. Um, and I clarified with the state, with our state um, cultural council representative, what that could be. And he said things like um, any supplies that were purchased, you know, any work at all, that it was proportionate to the full grant. The full grant was for $499, and he has requested a partial payment of $245. He sent the documentation showing that he's done research, um, he's got all the materials for the pastel workshop purchased. Um, he sent all the other towns that have paid him in full or partial, um, and was hoping we would consider doing that. So. Um, does anybody have any thoughts about it? I personally don't have any issue with it, just given the situation that we find ourselves in and um, even requesting a partial payment seems reasonable to me, but that's just my thought. Yeah. Um, he's an artist that we've had many, many times in Irving. So, you know, he's, he's somebody known to us and reliable and, um, and I, I'm sorry that I'm forgetting his name. I can look it up if it's important to you. It says Maychak on our list. Maychak, thank you. Maychak, okay, thank I'm you. Not, yeah, I'm not saying it right or not, but yeah. Yes, yes. And um, Gregory? Greg Maychak, yeah. thank you. Yeah. His wife also received a grant from us. So um, by voting tonight, if we decide that we want to um, provide partial payments for any artists that request them, uh, we won't have to meet again for each one. Okay. Anybody else have any thoughts to consider? Yeah. I, so, 
his workshop was going to be in December, which is quite a ways from now, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, hopefully at that point we are not in this current situation we're in, um, which is terrible um, and more terrible for people who are in the gig economy, artists included. Uh, I, I'm strongly in support of whatever we can provide for him. And hopefully everything by December is sorted out and he can come and do the, the workshop and it, it'd be great. Uh, so I, I think we should support it. And I'm in, I'm in big favor of just supporting any kind of other, as you were saying, Marcia, any other request that comes along like this for partial payment. Let's just do it. Okay, thanks. Um, the, it looks like that the state is being really flexible, the State Cultural Council, and I think we're going to get extensions for all of these, any grants that can't happen in the year, the deadline I'm sure is going to be extended. Um, because this is craziness, right? Yeah. yeah. Anybody else have a, a comment they want to share? Is he the only one we've heard from? Did you say? He, he is the only one. Um, we could be proactive as a council and reach out to our grantees and offer it, um, or we could just wait for them to approach us. Um, I've, I have been in contact with the uh, bad news, the <laughs> jazz band, the what is it? Michelle knows. I, I just said it tonight and it was like a tongue twister. It's the the bad news ja jazz and blues band is that okay. right yeah 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 um it, we were in touch um when this first happened because we were going to start doing publicity together um and they realized concerts aren't going to happen and they're they're again also you know they're they're local people they're very flexible and hopefully we can fit that in at some other time mm -hmm. all right so if there's no other discussion um Let's take a vote on, let's see, on how about, if we word it this way, about offering a partial progress payment to any of our grantees who request it um, because of the COVID hardship. Okay, okay I will make a motion to... I'll second that. Yeah, okay. with that wording. <laughs> what Marcia said. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? Any abstentions? All right. So it passes unanimously. That's great. I think it's it's a really good thing to do. So mm -hmm. awesome. Um, does anybody have any other business they want to bring up? You got what I wanted to talk about, which was how we were going to do the community input survey so we'll talk about that in June yeah in the past we've we've timed it so that we had the survey to distribute at the town meeting that's where we've gotten our uh, biggest uh, response even though it's never a big response um, and that's going to be at the end of June um, but then we could also put it in the around town or any other avenues that you think of so I'm thinking you know we'll need to meet around the middle of June, probably. But let's find out what's gonna happen. And if we have to do it this way, we can. Is, yeah. is there a way that, um, Marcia, maybe you could send around that the survey? I, I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna send, I'll send it to you, um, the survey, um, and then you can add your comments. It's a, you know, Google form. Um, yeah. So adding your comments and also, thinking about what are what are ways we can get a bigger response. I know that with some of our new members, they mentioned last year that they never even saw the survey. Um, mm -hmm. Even folks who were at the town meeting where we were handing it out didn't see it. So just thinking about ways that we can get as much of our community involved in their with their input. Mm -hmm. But I'll send that via email and you can be looking at it and adding comments and then we'll discuss. Great, thanks. All right. Anybody have anything else? Madam Chairwoman, you do have a question from an attendee uh, from Barbara Friedman. 
Barbara Friedman's attending. How do I know that? It's on the Hi, on the other tab. <laughs> there she is. So much if to you, keep track of. Oh my gosh. Hi, Barbara. If you, if you would like tab. to invite her to participate, you can un by clicking that red microphone, you can unmute her. Okay. All right. Hi, Barbara. Hi. Hi. Uh, hello, everybody. It's so nice Hi, to Barbara. see you. Um, we've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings, and we have done one uh, performance uh, using Zoom uh, with uh, Rob Fletcher. And um, my um, predicament is that I will be leaving June 24th, and we have uh, um, $4,500 to spend. Um, and uh, the Mass Cultural Council has given us an extension until September. Uh, but with a new person coming in, I was hoping that maybe the Cultural Council could help in spending that money in some way um, instead of losing it. So originally we had planned on having people like Jason Robinson and um, uh, other people um, uh, perform live, uh, but that doesn't seem to be a possibility um, at this point, and maybe in August or September it might be, but um, at this point we only have an extension until September. So just food for thought. You don't have to come up with an answer now, but it's a shame to leave that money go. Uh, we had eight performers and only Rob decided to do it remotely. So. Okay, so let me ask some clarifying questions here because um, this was a totally separate grant than the local cultural council, right? Um, so I'm not sure what, are you asking us just for suggestions of, um, what are you asking us to do? Well, I think I'm asking you for some uh, local uh, moral support for the new director who might not know people that uh, might perform um, because I know you've looked at a lot of applications and um, uh, we do have uh, of course I do have the list of the people that had uh, decided that they would perform for us um, and um, but some of them just chose not to um, uh, uh, I the most expensive one was Beatles for sale which we had a few years ago um, and had a good, very good turnout. And they often do outdoor concerts. Um, and so I thought maybe that would be something that could still happen. Um, uh, it's just, um, it's, a, it's a lot of money and could be a lot of performers um, if, if we can spend the money before uh, the, dead, the deadline, whatever that, can I, can I ask a little follow-up, Barbara? And sure. Maybe it's a question for you. Um, is the is that funding fungible, meaning it can be moved around to whatever great idea comes up before the deadline, or is it super tightly, you know, um, strictly regulated? Um, because part of me is thinking, if we are able to move that funding around we might all be thinking creatively about who we could find to perform virtually uh, mm -hmm. given this crazy situation. And we're all in this situation. I don't know. It, I, I, it, I, I wish if I had met all of you before we're here on this remote thing. This is my mm -hmm. life. I'm here yeah. on my computer camera most days and um this is not normal right we go to the grocery store it's like you're doing a spacewalk with masks on and everything um so it's not a normal situation so i'm hearing barbara saying maybe there's maybe if we think creatively there will be some other people that would want to perform remotely for our community and it could be um you know, advertised to our community and I, that means a lot to me actually um, I don't know who that would be. Uh, I know a bunch of people in our general region that might be willing to do that, but maybe there's others among us that know other people that would be willing to do it. It's not a normal way to perform on this tiny little computer screen, you know, and camera. But 
So Barbara, is that funding fungible? Is it flexible? Uh, uh, they certainly were very willing to allow us to extend the deadline date. Uh, we would have to um, touch base with them and tell them what we had in mind. But mm -hmm. considering the situation, I think they are going to be very flexible. Um, I, and I think that um, <laughs> there are a few other ways that people could perform. And, and this is the um, my example from Westminster that I've been talking uh, to people about. In, in Westminster, for the last 40 years, um, every Wednesday during the summertime, they have an outdoor concert. But because it often is buggy around their band shell, everyone stays in their cars and everyone honks their horns instead of uh, clapping. And, uh, and we have parking lot space and things like that. So um, down the line, that might be a possibility. Um, and I, you, you might think of other creative ways that don't have to be zoomed. Um, I, I, I personally, this is my third meeting today on Zoom, so I know how zoomed out we can get. Um, so I don't think that that should be the only format that we use. Um, but um, I, I really, uh, the, the purpose uh, of the grant um, was to publicize the new library. So mm -hmm. anything that you do, if you can incorporate it, the broadcasting from the library or around the library, or <laughs> some way of getting the library in there, I think they would be more receptive to approving that because that was the goal of, of the, the grant. So. Yeah. Barbara, this is Rinky. Um, are the plans to have a grand opening just by the wayside at this point, or will there be a grand opening one day? Uh, we still have it on the calendar as the 21st of June, but that doesn't look very likely. Um, but who knows? Um, we. Um, We've, we've done all the planning uh, down to brochures and who's who's bringing food and all that. So uh, we could we could do it in a heartbeat if, if um, we were allowed to do it. Uh, but I'm not uh, counting my chickens until I see that. Um, so um, uh, and we could do it in December or, you know, next January. Uh, grand opening doesn't have to be um, at a certain time. Uh, but I'm not sure how long the Cultural Council is going to extend uh, using this money. So that, that's my that's my question. And and also because, uh, you know, I won't be involved in in um, being able to do any planning after the 24th. So. OK, um, so it sounds like. So we can't manage that money, um, but we can support the new director, you or the new director or whoever is involved in the planning, we could certainly support and um, with suggestions and with other help as members would want to help. Um, I would hope that they would be as flexible as the local council has been, which they are extending deadlines pretty significantly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that trying to jam something in, I agree with the with the uh, Zoom burnout. Um, and we'll we'll know a lot more next week. I think we're going to have plans for rolling out, and you know, we'll have a, a much better idea of of when libraries and what that's going to look like, um, and would be able to make some other you know other ideas. I think creative thinking creatively is is a great thing. Yeah, so so I just wanted to present it to you. I think you you understood exactly what I was trying to get across, and really just support, um, you know, for the new director. And um, um, yes, I think you guys are doing a great job, and will continue to to have great things for Irving. So I I I, I don't want the money to slip away if we can do something wonderful. 
So um, thank you. I will keep you posted on it. And uh, if I get any word from them, I will pass that along to you. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Does anybody have any other comments about um, Barbara's situation or the library situation? Thoughts? Um, what was her deadline that she said September? Or is okay. so? I mean, if they operate the same way that we can, she could get a whole nother year, right? You know, I'd be surprised if they hold firm to a deadline, but it is a different, much larger grant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, originally just, it was supposed to, the deadline was this, um, this June, June 1st, I believe was the deadline. Okay. All right. So once we get some more details, we can, we can talk more about it. It sounds like Jason, you have a lot of connections in the, in the, uh, music field, right? There's a lot of people around and if, I'm happy to reach out a little more deeply, even into visual arts or um, theater arts. I know I know a lot of people, or I know people who know people, and happy to share the word, just to bring stuff to our community as best as possible. Great, thank you. All right, does anybody have anything else? I would just add that um, in Deerfield and the community, they're talking about doing like a a musical review or a sort of theater like people could um, sort of propose doing songs individually or duets um, because they think they think they could probably do it either on an outdoor stage or indoor um, with social distancing um, so just while I'm thinking of it I'm throwing it out there before I forget <laughs> thank you mm -hmm. yeah people are starting to to get really creative we're craving it we're craving the arts all right all right, I will entertain a motion to adjourn our meeting. I will make a motion to adjourn our meeting. A second? Second. All right, thanks so much for your time tonight. Um, I, Greg Maycheck will be very happy to receive partial payment. Uh, they have even lightened up the restrictions on two signatures, so you only need one. But I still need to talk to you, Michelle, about printing out his invoice. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so maybe we can, can we stay on afterwards? Can we, or I can just call you. Okay, either. We'll get, we'll get it signed and paid. All right. Thanks so okay. much, everybody. Okay. Um, can, you help, can you help me know how to leave this meeting? I had trouble the last time I was on one of these meetings. I always have trouble too, Rinky. <laughs> <laughs> if you're all ready, I can close it and it will, it will help you all leave at the same time. All right. Thanks, Brian. Be well, nice everyone. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. Great Hopefully in person. Bye-bye. <laughs>